You are listening to the Vibrant Life Podcast with Emily Romrell, Episode 1. The Vibrant Life. Hey you, thanks so much for joining me on the premiere episode of the Vibrant Life Podcast. It means a lot to me, and I hope by the end of our time today, you will feel encouraged, uplifted, and have a clear understanding of what the Vibrant Life is all about. My name is Emily Romrell. I'm 35, single, and doing my best to thrive in this crazy world. I have been on a journey of self-love and personal development in earnest for the last few years, but I think you could just call the journey of self-love and personal development life and have it covered. But in the last two to three years, I've made some significant changes in my life. I've lost over 165 pounds, conquered a few of my fears, and am on my way to even bigger and better things. I'm a writer, and I love writing of all kinds, including poetry, sci-fi fantasy, and personal essays. I also have some experience with uh, professional writing and social media. I love doing anything creative, so I play the guitar and the clarinet, I'm a total nerd and I love learning interesting facts about random things, and I love nature and going hiking or camping, just experiencing the majesty of my Utah mountains that are close by here. And I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, so a lot of my content will include aspects of my faith, but you certainly don't have to be a member of my church to enjoy the podcast or use the information here. Everyone is welcome. And in fact, I love having friends with different beliefs than me or that come from different backgrounds because I think we can learn a lot from each other if we have different perspectives, as long as we keep it kind, which I think is really important. So uh, onward and upward. Today, we will cover the basic why of the vibrant life. Why does it matter? Why is it a good idea to implement these ideas into your life? And why do I, Emily Romrell, feel compelled to share my thoughts and feelings with you? And uh, let's tackle that last point first. So um, have you ever had a persistent idea or thought that just won't go away? You can ignore it for a little while, but then in quiet moments, it kind of creeps back into your brain. I believe that when this happens, we are being guided to greatness. As a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I believe we are guided by the Spirit and led to do important things. Sometimes the actions we're prompted to take may seem small, but they eventually lead to great impact. And uh, there's a quote that one of the leaders of our church, uh, Dieter F. Uchtdorf, gave in a conference a while back. He said, Let us resolve to follow the Savior and work with diligence to become the person we were designed to become. Let us listen and obey the promptings of the Holy Spirit. As we do, Heavenly Father will reveal to us things we never knew about ourselves. He will illuminate the path ahead and open our eyes to see our unknown and perhaps unimagined talents. I love that quote so much. Um, And you don't have to believe exactly what I believe to get this principle. You can call it the universe or whatever else works for you. But uh, in my mind, both God and our higher natures are pointing us to true callings or actions that will lead to fulfillment and joy, not only for ourselves, but for others as well. I've been feeling the nudge to do a podcast for a long time. I actually attempted a go of it several years ago and let it slip through the cracks, but now I think the time is right to really go for it. My sincere hope is that as I share some of the things that I am learning, you will feel inspired and encouraged to live your best life as well. If you don't get anything else from me in this first episode, I hope you'll take this point away. Trust yourself and follow those persistent promptings. They are guaranteed to lead you to good things. And Oprah Winfrey actually has a really great quote. She says, follow your instincts. That's where true wisdom manifests itself. So can't go wrong with Oprah. So following your gut is a good way to start living the vibrant life. But what do I mean when I say the vibrant life? What is that exactly? I want to get sciencey with you for a minute. And I love science. I love learning about science and watching science documentaries and things, but I don't like doing the heavy lifting. I like other people to do that for me and then I can just read about it. And I found this great article 
by Tam Hunt from the Scientific American, and it expresses exactly what I want to get across. So I'm going to take his words for a minute. All things in our universe are constantly in motion, vibrating. Even objects that appear to be stationary are in fact vibrating, oscillating, resonating at various frequencies. Resonance is a type of motion characterized by oscillation between two states. And ultimately, all matter is just vibrations of various underlying fields. An interesting phenomenon occurs when different vibrating things or processes come into proximity. They will often start, after a little time, to vibrate together at the same frequency. They sync up, sometimes in ways that can seem mysterious. This is described today as the phenomenon of spontaneous self-organization. Examining this phenomenon leads to potentially deep insights about the nature of consciousness and about the universe more generally. And uh, that might be a little bit deep, but I love the article. You should read it. It's called The Hippies Were Right. It's all about vibrations, man, and it's on the Scientific American blog network. So there'll be a link to that uh, article in the show notes. But I really want to stress the fact that our thoughts, our emotions, and our physical bodies, and everything is just made from different frequencies of vibrations. If it sounds hippy-dippy to you, then hang in there with me. Uh, we can work through all of this together on future episodes. But I know that if we do the work to bring our thoughts and our actions into alignment, then we can literally change ourselves for the better. And when I say literally, I mean like we literally change our physical bodies and our thoughts and our minds that also changes our spiritual selves. You know, we just literally become better. Life, in a nutshell, is really an incredible opportunity and journey of transformation. Lasting change takes time and effort. It's not easy, but it's absolutely possible. Change is actually inevitable. Tomorrow, you will wake up a different person because of the experiences you had today. It's up to each of us to choose whether we will spiral upwards towards our infinite potential or downwards towards despair. We're on that journey together, so let's help each other along the way. Let's make the world a better place, one day and one choice at a time. I want you to know that I am far from perfect. I have seriously struggled with depression and anxiety. Uh, those demons and a few others are still with me, and I'm working to overcome them. This podcast is a product of my efforts to defeat my demons. And I know on a deep level that life can be dark and frightening. I know some days are a success if you're still breathing at the end. And I also know that help is out there and we are not alone. We are more powerful than we give ourselves credit for we can choose to live a vibrant, happy life. I want to be clear that I'm not an expert in anything. I'm not a doctor or some other professional that is qualified to tell you what to do. I just want to share some life lessons that I'm learning. And one of my main goals of this podcast and in my personal life is to live a life that is joyful, purposeful, full of growth and fun. And I want that life for you. I want you to look in the mirror and smile at what you see. I want all of us to actually enjoy this crazy, wonderful life. So let's do it. Let's live the vibrant life together. You can start by taking some time to meditate and reflect on those inner promptings you might be having. Is there something that you feel compelled to do, but you've been resisting? Put your Nikes on if you have them and just do it. Or if you don't have Nikes like me, any shoes will do. You don't have to fix everything all at once. It takes time and it's a process. And I'm definitely not like fixed all the way. I'm on my journey too. So um, just start and I'm with you. And uh, I want to leave you with one last quote from someone who has literally been to the stars and back. I feel like I said literally too much on this podcast, but I'm using it in the correct sense for all of you grammar people out there. <laughs> But anyway, this is a quote from John Glenn, who was the first person to orbit the Earth in space. And he said, It's been my observation that the happiest of people, the vibrant doers of the world, are almost always those who are using, 
who are putting into play, calling upon, depending upon the greatest number of their God-given talents and capabilities. So I agree with John Glenn. I think that when we push past our fears and follow those inner promptings, then we can make a big difference. And so I hope this podcast has helped you in your day today, and I hope you'll join me again next time and live the vibrant life. Thank you.